Yo, what is going on guys? Misleading here, and today is a highly requested video over on my Twitch stream, which is linked in the description if you guys ever want to catch me live doing all the crazy stuff I do on Destiny. Now, this video is how to skate with the new Eager Edge perk on a sword on all three characters, and I will show you guys on controller with inputs, and I will show you guys on keyboard and mouse with inputs. So I'm going to start it in order from Warlock to Hunter to Titan. These are all very good movement utilities. If you guys would like to see more, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get right into the first one. Okay, so for Warlock, there's a couple things you guys are going to want to put on. You want to be on Top Tree Dawnblade. You can do this with Well, but I'm just going to show you guys the easiest method of doing these. So Top Tree Dawnblade. And then you want to have your Eager Edge Sword. Eager Edge, is the, it's going to be in the fourth slot of a sword, and it should be this perk. Get it on either of the new swords. If you're on Controller... There's a very important bind you want to say. You want to go to controller, you want to go to button layout, you want to go to warlock, Icarus dash, and you want to change it to a single press of whatever button you have it binded to. Now, you want to, I'm going to show you guys the three alternate modes of doing this. You can just do a single, which way you get that much momentum, or you can chain that up to three times and get crazy speeds. So... I will show the inputs probably in the top right of the screen of exactly what I'm doing. But basically, you want to sprint forward, jump, swing the sword, swap weapons, and then boost. Sounds very simple, but sometimes for some people, it's a little bit confusing. And then you can pair that with an Icarus dash and keep chaining it unlimited times as long as you can get the combat on. So you sprint, swap, swap, switch, Icarus dash, jump, and you can just flow down with momentum, swap to your sword, do the whole thing again, and you can keep going unlimitedly as long as you have terrain slash land to do it on i will slow it down this time so you guys can see the exact binds in the top right so sprint jump swap swing swap icarus dash and then you can boost again and you keep boosting once you hit the ground for that continuous momentum okay guys so for hunter on controller and keyboard and mouse i'm going to show you guys again this one is easier on keyboard and mouse by far but i will show it on controller as well so first things first that you're going to want to do is go to your settings for controller. This is very important. Button layout. And you're going to want to put your air dive ability to single press. Next thing you want to do is make sure you're on stasis with shatter dive equipped. Now your shatter dive will be a single press. Once again you have your eager edge sword on. This time you'll be doing a heavy attack into a jump and shatter dive at the exact same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprint up to any ledge. You have to be on a higher ledge. You can do it on very small ones once you're an expert like this. As long as there is a slight incline. But I would practice it on a higher cliff like this. But you're going to want to run up to it. Swap to your sword. Heavy attack. And then jump and shatter dive at the same time. It's going to take you a couple tries. But you will eventually get it. Okay guys, so to do it on Titan, you're going to want to just do the normal Titan flow if you guys don't know how to do that. You need Lion Rampants, and you also need to have Catapult Lift on. So it is essentially the same thing as like I just said, all you do is add in a big sword swing instead of a little one. And you can just do it unlimitedly around, just like normal. That was lit. Other than Titan flying, guys, there is also an alternative method which gives you much more forward momentum rather than just sustainability in the air. What you're going to want to do is basically the same as the Warlock. Just sprint forward, switch the sword, swing, swap off, and then spam the jump button the whole time. I'm not kidding. This will launch you in some places. It's pretty crazy. You can get pretty far as well off of it. 
If you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you, please consider subscribing. Only 7% of you guys are subscribed. Like the video, comment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.